extremely easy for a trained eye, difficult for somebody who's not familiar with the subject. Uh, increasingly with the use of technology and the way we grade using Turnitin, it's very easy. And even if you don't use Turnitin as an academic, you can use Google Advanced Search to check a piece of text, a sentence. Perhaps even five or six words will alert an academic to a piece of plagiarism. So it's, it's more easy than the student probably recognizes. Uh, so they shouldn't do it. Uh, spotting plagiarism is a very easy thing to do. Um, you can see it a mile away. We read so many different assignments and we'd be, we would be so familiar with different styles of writing that it's very easy to spot plagiarism. Uh, but we don't depend on our own intuition and our own ability to spot it. We do use software such as Turnitin. So even when we would spot plagiarism, we don't just go on our own gut instinct with it. We use the plagiarism software like Turnitin that will show us very specifically where the text has come from. These days it's incredibly easy, really students just don't get away with it anymore. Um, I mean, a lot of the submissions, a lot of the pieces, a lot of the papers are actually submitted online and it's simply a matter of scanning and very quickly we'll pick up, you know, what has been plagiarised. There's also that change in style, which any learner, reader will, will spot really immediately halfway through an essay. There's a switch of, of vocab, there's a switch of syntax and they really just come out very, very quickly, especially within the discipline area. Academics are used to, to reading pieces of work. How easy is it to spot plagiarism? It's hard to say. There was this College View, college view uh, survey that said I think 60% had plagiarised. I'm not sure that that's totally accurate because I think that uh, that 60% maybe included people who are a little bit sloppy in referring to their works. So maybe it's more widespread than I think. But we detect it quite a lot. We've got several cases this year. There's every year, every semester, there's several cases in our school. It's easy to spot because something doesn't ring true. It's quite easy in an essay or whatever it is, it's quite easy to begin to get in tune with a student's way of expressing themselves. Suddenly, a phrase or a sentence or a paragraph sounds different on the page, looks different, and you say, that doesn't seem right. And when that happens, a lecturer is going to check. When we check, we find, oh no. And think of it this way, if a student can easily Google this brilliant article, all I have to do as a lecturer is take that brilliant phrase, Google it, and I get the same article. And that's how we spot a lot of it. Something doesn't ring true, we Google it, bingo. That's not his work. 